Today's conference enhanced cooperation for countering security, counter, countering security threats and promoting connectivity in the heart of Asia region aptly reflects our desire for promoting regional development, increasing economic and trade linkages, improving quality of life for our peoples and meeting security challenges. I am confident that your deliberations and the proposed Islamabad declaration will appropriately encompass all these areas. In my view, the Heart of Asia initiative should not be seen in isolation. This initiative can be linked to several other regional infrastructure and connectivity projects flowing along and across Afghanistan. We firmly believe that peace is vital for development and development is vital for durable peace. Adhering to these principles, Pakistan remains committed to strengthening its relations with all its neighbors and regional countries, as well as promoting regional cooperation and connectivity. For us, Afghanistan is more than a neighbor. Our cordial ties are rooted in shared history, common religion, cultural and linguistic affinities and people-to-people -people relations since times immemorial. Due to these close bonds between our peoples, Pakistan has always stood by Afghanistan. I call upon the international community to extend its full support and assistance to the Afghan government's peace efforts. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the government and the people of Pakistan have demonstrated an unflinching resolve to uproot the menace of terrorism and violent extremism from our soil. The consensus-based military operation called Zarbayazm and the National Action Plan have been remarkably su successful in our campaign against terrorism and extremism. These are delivering desired results. We are convinced that terrorism and extremism is the common enemy of all. We need a collective approach to combat this menace. In our view, finalization of border management SOPs at the earliest will be helpful in containing movement of terrorists across the border. We believe our efforts for long-term stability in Afghanistan should envisage the return and resettlement of Afghan refugees to their homeland in a dignified manner. We should envisage collective and coordinated measures on the regional security front to ensure that the gains in the struggle against terrorism are durable and irreversible. I am confident that the Islamabad Declaration to be adopted by this conference will identify a way forward to the participants of the Heart of Asia process for strengthening regional connectivity in pursuit of a better future for our peoples. I wish you every success in your